March is, I think, quite a unique program because it combines a number of entry points that are not always combined. It combines a focus on media studies, uh, it combines a focus on politics, and it combines a focus on space and, and geography. And that combination is something that makes this uh, a, a really interesting and, and unique program. We do many other things because that combination uh, is driven by both a focus on different spaces, different parts of Europe. And Prague is, of course, uh, the lovely city where we are based, but we're also extremely interested in the logics of Central Eastern Europe and the logics of the European Union. And it's that combination of an interdisciplinary and an intercultural and an interregional approach that makes us special. I really wanted a master that would merge my two centers of interest, so media and like European studies, sort of. And so far actually we have classes on both, so and that's very interesting and goes really in depth. The admission process actually for in my case was quite easy. I just had like a simple application, so why I wanted to join, why Mars specifically, since it's a very specific master. And just to make sure I would be taken, I added like my thesis. Like two months later I was I was accepted. If you look closer at, at the program, then you'll you'll find on the one hand, a very strong focus on theory. And that sometimes sounds horrible, but it's actually really important if you're doing a master program to have a theoretical backbone. And we're interested in a variety of theoretical fields, post-colonial studies, we're interested in memory studies. Uh, we're also, I think, quite interested in media sociology. But at the same time, we try to translate that theoretical approach into a very practice-based, uh, research-oriented approach. So we don't do just high theory, we try to use it as toolboxes to better understand the social reality that we're studying. With Mars, I could choose most of my subjects in a way where in this first semester my classes are mostly theoretical and then maybe I can choose classes that are more practical in the next semesters. So I like that amount of freedom that Mars gave me. Mars has compulsory courses and elective courses. There are about 12 compulsory courses that include methodology, academic writing, but also more substantial courses like introduction to post-colonial theory or Czech media system on the media part. And then there are also courses that are provided by our partner Institute of International Studies that are concerning area studies and European Union among other things. Then the elective courses, students can choose at least two from media study specialization and two from international relations specialization, but they can also pick up some courses that are completely out of Mars to complement their studies. As far as I know, students are taking courses even at other institutes, so that is okay for Mars. There are so many subjects that I'm enjoying right now. Um, we have political economy of communication, which sounds really intimidating and scary. And it is intimidating and scary, but also really exciting and makes you think about the world in a different way. One of the areas where we try to innovate is exactly with the internships. What we try to do is find a combination of different kinds of internships. Quite often people think about internships as a place to go and work. And that is one of the things we do offer, the vocational internships, where people can, in Prague or in the Czech Republic or beyond, can find places to get to know media practice or political practice or different kinds of uh, professional practices. But we also have research internships, which allows students to get acquainted with particular research projects so that people can actually work with them to, uh, to everybody's benefit, so that students get a good idea of what research actually means in practice, but also that there's something very practically um, interesting for them to study a particular social phenomenon. They can also go for Erasmus internship abroad, then they will get a scholarship to survive in the foreign country. And they, they can also choose to help with some scientific projects that are going on 
here at our institute. Right now my studies are mostly theoretical, but um, Mars is structured in a way where we can also do internships in the future. So for now, I don't feel like I'm qualified to do internships because I don't know much yet. But once this theoretical part is over, I think I will apply for some internships here in Prague. We have classes specific to Mars and we have other classes mixed with all the other masters. So it's a bit difficult to speak about the big classes, but for the classes just specific to ours, it's very nice because we are a very short group and actually the lecturers get to know us very quickly so they know our center of interest, they know what we want to work on, and it's, it's a really good relationship between like teacher and students. So far my colleagues are really great. We can all know each other and we know each other quite um, on like a very friendly basis. So we also meet in classes, but we meet outside of classes. We sometimes hang out and get some beer or go for walks in Prague, so that's really nice. Prague is extremely welcoming. That's actually a very nice city to live in. It's very colorful, it's very full of life. So there's plenty of cafe, plenty of places to go, and it's gorgeous. Well, the, the question who we are targeting is, a, is an extremely difficult question because it's always so tempting to say everybody. And, and that's partially true and partially not true. I think we're, we're interested in people that, uh, and students that are thinking outside the box, that don't want to fit into a, a, a traditional discipline-based approach, but that want to combine and work in an interdisciplinary. Uh, we, we, are, we are looking for inquisitive minds, students that want to find their own way. Also, uh, when doing their master thesis, when doing their assignments, that actually work with their own ideas. So I think we are looking for creative people as well.